Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday, a day before he's set to speak to a joint session of the U.S. Congress. But even abroad, he could not escape pressing challenges back home. Video and images released by his office showed him meeting with families of Israeli hostages believed held by Hamas in Gaza. He told family members that, quote, the conditions are ripening for a ceasefire that would bring some of the captives home. But senior Hamas official Sami Abu Zuhri told Reuters there was nothing new in Netanyahu's stance. He said, quote, Netanyahu is still stalling and he is sending delegations only to calm the anger of Israeli captives' families. That anger was on full display in the days before Netanyahu left for Washington. Mr. Netanyahu, this is not the time for a show trip. Huh. Danielle Aloni was held captive in Gaza along with her five-year-old daughter before they were freed in a November ceasefire. Adina Moshe is another former hostage. I call on you, Prime Minister. Don't go before you sign the deal. Save those you can. There are living hostages. There is no time. Hamas gunmen killed 1,200 people and took more than 200 captive in an October 7th rampage through Israeli communities, according to Israeli tallies. In a week-long truce in November, more than 100 hostages were freed in return for 240 Palestinian prisoners. Hamas and other militants are still holding 120 captives, around a third of whom have been declared dead by Israeli authorities. Israel's devastating retaliatory air and ground operation has so far killed more than 39,000 people in 10 months of fighting, according to Palestinian health officials. Netanyahu's visit comes amid a renewed push by Israeli forces in Khan Yunis. Israel called on civilians to again evacuate the city. Those forced out include Ibtital al-Brahim, along with her family. She told Reuters they had to leave without food, water or essentials. She said missiles were falling and she saw aircraft and tanks moving into her neighborhood. Months of efforts mediated by Egypt and Qatar to reach a new ceasefire in the war between Israel and Hamas gained momentum in recent weeks under a proposal outlined by U.S. President Joe Biden in May. An Israeli negotiation team was due on Thursday to resume talks that would include hostages being released in return for Palestinian prisoners held in Israeli jails.